You thought it was tough to herd cats. <laughs> <laughs> Try it with a couple. Of, hey, yeah. pink is always in season for the many flamingos. He goes at the Cincinnati Zoo. I gotta say they hit their marks though. They came over here they by did. themselves. They, they were pretty good right over here. Uh, and we are celebrating Wild Wednesday Hi, with these very unique Hi. birds. And a couple of our friends, Amanda and Melanie from the zoo with the two flamingos. She was pivoting a little bit I, away. Well, I, I don't I want to be a, a, a horrible <laughs> blooper like a or, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do these flamingos have names? Oh, okay. They do. This is Tango here that's making all the noise. What? And then we have Hula. Hula and what was the other Tango. one? Tango. Tango. They're named after dancers. dancers. All yeah. our flamingos oh, are. Okay. So do they, do they make noise like that when they're in distress or anything? Or is it just because they're loud mouths? No, they're really social. So they are loud mouths. They okay. communicate a lot. Um, so they make that honking noise. Yeah. Our males are noisier. We brought our two girls. that are a little bit more oh. well-behaved. Wow. Sure, our males. Just like you. I was going to say. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds a little bit familiar. Yeah. <laughs> She had, she, she, had her she leg was up there. resting her leg for a second. Yeah, she was yeah. resting why, her leg. Why do they do that? Yeah, why? Tell it's us about that. It's just to rest. It shows yeah. that they're comfortable. Also, this preening behavior that um, Tango is doing right now is yeah. also a sign that they're comfortable. Okay. So she's making sure her feathers look really nice for the camera. <laughs> yeah. Do they and they like do. people? Do they like <laughs> people? So ours like people a little bit more than a wild flamingo would. Okay. Um, our ambassador flamingos, we have a, a flock of six. We only brought two today, um, but they have been hand reared by the zoo staff. Mm. Um, so ever since they were just little chicks, they were little floof Kinda balls, used to it. we started walking them. And now um, they're very used to taking larger walks around the park, meeting people every day, inspiring them with, with nature. Wow. Um, and so people get to see them up close. And that's part of their job as an ambassador. Now, now I have seen them many times at the zoo walking right. around, uh, even in the, in the habitat that's there for them. I don't know that I've ever seen a flamingo fly. They fly, don't they? They do. They can. They're great migratory birds, yeah. and um, these guys have a large range. Uh, they can live in Africa, Europe, Asia, um, the Middle East. Um, so they can take large flights. Ours, uh, we give them almost like a haircut. And oh, it just keeps their feathers true. so that they <laughs> can't take those big flights because we don't want them to fly around in Avondale. So. <laughs> <laughs> or possibly into the lion exhibit or something oh, like yeah. that. Oh, so, that yeah. seems like so it might be a bad idea. just to keep them safe and at home, we give them their little wing cuts or it's like a haircut. Sure. Yeah. Oh, doesn't wow. hurt. Why pink? How are they? Why are they yeah, pink? Yeah, so naturally they are white birds. I think mm -hmm. I had heard that it's before. It's the diet that they, they eat that makes yeah. their yeah. feathers pink. They're we actually gray when they're first hatched. Yeah. Are they gray? They're, yeah. well, they're white and then they're gray and then they're pink. Oh Absolutely. Come on, so Come on. these oh. are the greater <laughs> flamingos and they are um, a little bit less pink than mm -hmm. a lot of the other types of flamingos. Um, but it's the carotenoids in their diet that makes okay. them pink. Are Do they, they ever lay down? Or they, sit down. Yeah. They do? Okay. Yeah, they look kind of like ducks when they're laying down. Okay. They just tuck those long legs up. <laughs> and they're used to having free range to just roam around where yes, they're comfortable. Right. As you can tell. So they what, what they do you guys do with them when, the it's, when the weather's like this? We have some indoor um, exercise areas that we allow them to go to. And then they're pretty weather tolerant. So as long as it's above like 24, 25 wow. degrees, we can put them in kind of the, the outdoor exercise areas as well. But we have to be careful when we put salt down for sure. safety and everything. Yeah. Wow. They, they, they really do look sort of very delicate. You know what I mean? I mean, the, the yeah. legs are just so thin and everything. I'd be so af afraid. Yeah. Yeah. You, they, they could be they injured very easily. They and falls. They're not very graceful. Yeah. Right. They're walking around. They'll start oh. to flap their wings and they're looking around everywhere. And, and sometimes they, you know, take a little slip, but they get right back yeah. up. And well, yeah. thank you so much for bringing them this by. This is cool. I mean, I just, yeah. 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 Fascinating. Well, well I love it. Yes. You'll, they walk nearly every day. So if you come okay. to the zoo, you're They'll bound be to see them going for walks around the zoo. There you go. Yay. Yay. Good right job, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, get it. Uh, yeah. Get it. Brandon. <laughs> They're doing the tango and the hula. That's great. I love it. I love it. Here's Brandon with the weather. <laughs>